Welcome back to the Talia Laws podcast. This is the second part of the journey to the core of your soul with Maria and Lena. Enjoy. Illumination it's uh is not the end. It's uh the motor or is the the energy that tells you keep on expanding because yes. you can create so many other things that you're not aware of that you can do and it's not yet experienced in your in your totalness so yes. this is something that you can do extra mm. yeah yes uh, so the extra is what is so addictive mm. it's so addictive because you can create new potential that you don't have in your akashic record or in your library of life um but you can do extra in this life because you are aware that you can do that yes so that's that's when you feel total that's when you feel complete when you are creating something not only for yourself but when you create something that through yourself, yourself. Mm-hmm. through your life you are given back to others so mm-hmm. this is i think where healers today are feeling their calling yes. the healers today that have their own way of understanding healing or they have their own way of giving back information is not that they have to copy other methods is they have to understand their own path to mm-hmm. give back Thank what you. they learned or because that's the level of consciousness that they have as a being mm-hmm. you know not only as a person or as a, as a soul here yeah. but as a being you know a light being somewhere and are bringing down this information so i i call myself a, a discovery a conqueror <laughs> you know yeah. like like the spaniards conquered yeah <laughs> but i i discovered this little path for the healers and say hey that's that's what you do best but you have to manifest that into your own method or your own language yes but just because there's so many people that need that vibration that frequency mm. this is why so many people today don't really finish learning how to heal themselves because they don't find the key yes and i think so many healers um are limited because they are following something that is not yet their own way of expressing themselves so this mm-hmm. is aini this is what the quechua's call aini is the reciprocity energy mm. i am asking for lots of healing lots of information but at one point i have to give back that yes in another mm-hmm. language in a, i translate the different languages so my maps are one of these expressions Precious. for many people mm-hmm. but other healers for other people have to go through this It's like a membrane of consciousness that at one point they say, okay, I have lots of information, but how do I translate this? Yes. I have to give back. Yeah. And giving back is what unites us. Yeah, definitely. We, we feel more completed mm-hmm. because, oh, I can talk to you, Larry. You can understand me. me yeah. I can talk to you. <laughs> yeah. You, oh, I found somebody that, I, that can understand me. So when we find another person another soul that we can explain ourselves and the other one say oh my god i was looking for something like that is we will unite right yes. unite this is this is an illumination point you know of our our lives yeah so we're yeah. united we are getting together this is where we understand that we're not alone and we're not separated our higher selves mm-hmm. are working so we can meet each other We're working from other dimensions to find out these languages, these connections with one another. Internet today, Zoom, all this technology is so wonderful for us to understand, but also to find out and to meet. Yes. Yeah. It's very deep because it's... Oh, sorry. It's the... Yeah. No, no, no. And, and to find out other information that we cannot find out by books or things, you know? Yeah, because it comes from the, like you said, from the downloads. And I really like what you said that healers should find their own way. Um, I feel like I'm on such a path, but I just don't know how to express it apart from having my crystals and I'm good in, in giving advice. Uh, but I know there is something more. 
um, which I'm sort of working on. And you, you've put me on a, on a sort of a path, so I'm working on that one. Uh, <laughs> and our last conversation. Um, but it's also uh, the, the journey to the cord soul. It's a program that you are designing at the moment. It's almost finished. Uh, mm -hmm. We're now recording this in uh, February. So if this comes out a bit later, it might be finished. You, we can go to your website, which obviously I put in the, the description. Is it only for healers or is it for people that who are already more spiritually advanced? Because it's when I look at the cause, it's very, very deep. Like I've not seen anything like it before. Oh. Um, it's, very... it's yeah. So it's is it so it's basically for those who are a bit more advanced in spirituality and also being healers, right? Um, yeah, for healers, hundred yeah. percent, because it's a path of understanding so many things and usually is focused i mean because usually people differentiate their private life with the professional life right you know mm -hmm. um, a lawyer or a doctor or you know they they have a personal life and a professional life but healers we don't mm -hmm. as an art artist too um our personal life is our normal life and our Private life is the same as our professional life. I mean, we don't have a distinction on that because everything that we learn, everything that we do has to do with our job. Yes. So yeah, this, this program that I, I give that some people are doing it right now um, are for healers, which is very good because they're going to focus on how to transform my life that is already transformed but actually the transforming here is the next level of consciousness of transforming is transcendence so once you are transformed the next step is to transcend yes <laughs> and it's a, it's a path it's a path to become to become taught i mean unite back again with with source in the understanding that you are keeping ex, um, expanding into this life I mean mm -hmm. it's not that we need to live another life in this life you know what I mean because there's people saying oh let's bring the 5d uh, we're gonna live in an, and they're focusing living in another dimension and another no wait yeah wait you have to be here in the yeah. 3d but with another consciousness. So the shift, the transcendence is being aware of who you are and bringing down all this potential of this awareness, but uh, enjoying this life and bringing down all this magic into this life, 3D. So transforming the 3D into this magical potential that we can do. I mean, we are the the magicians, we are the transformers, we are the co-creators. And we do that through this body, through this intelligence. So keeping, keeping ourselves uh, aware of how to do it is, is the trip. So the trip that, that I give, of course, is for everybody, mm -hmm. it's for everybody. But usually people um, that are starting in a healing path, Mm -hmm. Usually start little by little, start um, giving so much information or so much homework to do because healing is homework. You know, mm -hmm. you have to be present all the time. You have to be there, you know, like changing, correcting, uh, being aware of how, you, how do I think? How do I do this? I have to forgive. How, do the, how, 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 how? It's, it's just mm -hmm. a focusing healing. Yes. So usually people at the very beginning don't really start through a path that is so heavy to do. Hmm. Usually people that, that are yearning in this transformation and are you know, living with this consideration of transforming their lives, mm -hmm. these are the ones that start this path. Because once you start, you cannot leave it. Yes. At the, at the, you know, in the middle, because it's hard. Yeah. You just keep on doing, keep on doing. So 
the, uh, the trip to the core is I divided in four paths. Mm -hmm. I, um, I had it into two, but actually studying as a, as a shaman with Alberto Villoldo, uh, I understood that the four different directions that shamans use are the four different points of views or of, of, of your transforming your life. So the first, the first module is eliminating your past mm. through how do I identify myself in the past? So things I did, how I did it, um, I, you know, my past is really, really dense and really, you know, it's a baggage that I have. So I have to take it away. I have to eliminate that first baggage. So this is the, uh, the first module. And the first module is really hard. It's really hard because um, through my maps, I also go and see all the lessons that you had that were um, in a way not lived. Mm -hmm. lessons not live lessons that were distorted from the energy things that you didn't learn correctly so it's really the way of understanding why for example um, I'm not really empathic with people because I, when I was five years old um, this happened to me blah 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 so my point of view of being empathetic with people this was distorted right so this is why I learned everything from another point of view so I see, I explain all the different levels of cycles of consciousness that you had, all the lessons, how to uh, heal all of that. And it's really, really dense, you know, mm. so we illuminate that. And you start, you start understanding that our light body has imprints. Mm -hmm. Where do they come from? So we start healing that. So that's the first part, which is not really nice because it's, <laughs> it's, it's a lot of deep work. Yes. Yeah, because it's forgiveness, gratitude, self-love, worthiness, merit. I mean, those are the painful, very yeah. painful points, you know, in life. Mm -hmm. But once you understand that, once you heal that, we go to other lives, we go to ancestors, we go, mm -hmm. you know, we just start killing the ego <laughs> yes yeah I, I can see i can actually see that because now if i look at it um that you said the past and then you go into the shadow work as well yeah. uh yeah. releasing past shamanic constellations and just mm -hmm. and it's yeah, yeah it's very it's it's i would not say it's for a total beginner if i look at this it's like no, you need to I, understand I, I explain, but it yeah. takes time so this is yeah. why it's a trick because it takes time and you can stay in the module as as much time as you want because mm -hmm. it everybody have a different rhythm and understanding of their own path you know? uh, yeah depending on depending on on their level of consciousness so it does it could take a little a little time yes but um yeah and and then you know you keep on going you know um the more you go deeper the the more you eliminate baggage you know negativity yeah um, patterns programming you take a little thing you, you take everything away right. and then you know you start by being more free understanding yes. you understanding life as a soul yeah. And the more you go deeper, the more you come out into this universe of freedom. Yes. Being free. And free means I do what I love most. And yes. I start transforming my life. And mm -hmm. there you see your dream. And yes. your dream comes through. <laughs> <laughs> That's all what we want. Yeah, exactly. I yeah. think it's beautiful. And I assume uh, you are there to help the people with that as well. They, would they have uh, during this this course? Would they have one on ones with you, or would it be circles with other people, or is it a mixture of things? No. Uh, the path is only yourself. It's only yourself um, because it, it it does take me a lot of time to work on the maps mm -hmm. uh, because it's not only what I show you, what we explain. I do meditations for you as as a medicine mm -hmm. that you are taking. The pill every day you take your your meditation as a as a medicine um and yeah 
the 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 sessions are two hours two hours and a half mm -hmm. because they are long explaining and and taking uh, the understanding and the healing yes. um, so yeah it, and, and some information I have to do it in my weekends so mm -hmm. I don't have weekends anymore I just work for you to bring down so much information that otherwise you I mean it takes a long time to bring down some information Sorry. yes yeah so the the sessions are just for you I do have a method uh, that is called Creactivando that I that I brought down to <laughs> mm -hmm. and uh, it's all through my experience as a director I I did this method for actors and singers mm -hmm. and now I'm focusing for healers and that's for groups uh, and that's for groups and Creactivando for groups. I, yeah, I'm thinking about doing one. I want to do one for healers. So healers, the ones that you guys want to do this, I'm open to, to do this course. And, and this is to um, find out your potential, find out your own language and how to bring down the information. Mm -hmm. And it's all through feeling energy as frequencies so yeah so why is for groups because we can practice with one another in the same language we can talk yeah. we can feel and you know usually healers in front of the patients they don't want to have errors they want to be perfect and this is one of the limitations that we have you know, sometimes with, uh, well, every time with my patients, I always say, you know, I'm learning this. You want to be my, my guinea pig because, you know, I'm learning. Yes. I'm learning. You know, healers are always learning their own way. Mm. Yes. Mm. And yeah. patients come, you know, with, with the opportunity for us to transform our, ourselves through them because we reflect all the time ourselves in others. Yes. So this this method, Creativando for Healers, um, is an opportunity for you to find out your language with the best potential. And uh, sometimes we're going to bring more potential down that you didn't know that you had mm -hmm. and bring everything down and understand it, put it into practice, and then you just go home and practice yourself and we do it through singing we do it through playing instruments because the real medicine is sound oh. ah. the sound yeah so some people just use their hands that's all but let's transform this what you feel into mm -hmm. sound so i teach you that because you know i sound is my my language you know, yes. i come from the opera i was a singer too uh, so I really understand the how the vibration becomes sound mm -hmm. and how 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 do we work with that? So this is what we do in groups. And in groups, you learn a lot, you have lots of fun, you find out so many things, so many people. I mean, you you find out and you get to know new friends. Yes. And this is so important uh, to belong somewhere we yeah. need to belong somewhere in our consciousness mm -hmm. oh that, yeah especially for healing because you want to be understood as well yeah. and uh, i think that's that's the beauty of of us healers also connecting with one another because we can send each other people as well if you think well that person is not for good for you then i'll send it to that person or and it's yeah it's our language yeah and, and one of the important things that healers we we need to to have every day is curiosity yes so um i'm a very curious person you know this is one of my Many. potentials yeah <laughs> curiosity <laughs> um, I'm, I'm i'm always asking people how do you do that uh yeah. teach me i want to know how to do that um or maybe i don't know i have lots of um uh, friends that read cards I'm, I, I don't think I don't consider myself a reader of the cards tarot but I also ask them please do, do, do this for me I want to know I want to know I want to know do this do this do this it's not that I want to do it but it's um, 
it's it's another path of understanding you know for example i have little i i like to read yeah and i like to read tales to my to my uh patients because i i know that in the tales the spiritual tales there's something important that we have to translate that i was going to say before uh when i talk to my patients looking through their way of understanding Mm. you always have to talk to them in images yes that's how the soul and the subconscious understand images. images so this is why rituals and this is why um talking through the platonic solids work because yeah. we understand through symbols we understand through images and that's the language of the soul yes so I when see. you talk to the soul, maybe your mind doesn't understand, but your soul does. Does, yeah, yeah. So that's where the healing comes. It comes always from the highest. Maybe your mind doesn't understand that moment yet, but you know the healing comes in the different dimensions. So this is where all the transformation is happening. And then one day you just wake up and you just go like, "Oh, I understand. Oh, yeah. look what happened. Oh, look." I understand this and that because all this transformation was happening behind you. In, yeah. In it's another... not instant. Never. No, no. Healing is never instant. Yeah. Not, not always. Sometimes, yeah. But yeah. it's instant in, in the energetic mm. layers. Yeah. Maybe not in your mind, mm. not in your physical, but it's there. It's there. So, for example, tales or understanding through music. We're understanding through images. This is why art is so important for transcending, for transforming people. Ah. Um, art yeah. is where everything is written. Everything, uh, all the um, all the information from the past is there. So some people don't read between symbols this is why symbols alchemy is so important to understand because so much information from the past is revealed through there so um, yeah yeah wow revelations can... come through sy symbols yes really yeah mostly it's uh, well like i told you I've, I've been a bit of obsession for sacred geometry i actually got the deck that you told me to get um and those are the codes geometry yeah. has codes and that's that's really important because you are working with crystals and yeah. crystals is um is really important to understand the vibration of the crystal so you can get those codes through through how you feel them how you understand them yes and these codes are all the time upgrading upgrading mm. this is how we have to understand healing you as a healer for crystals you get um the connection also with mother earth that mm. has the revelations and the information hidden because all that we know all that we see is not true mm -hmm. is not maybe the real history but mother earth has the has it yeah so when you are in touch with crystals crystals are the symbols for these codes yes and are the symbols also are the uh communicators for you or the path for for uh, aligning to the cosmic information mm -hmm. so crystals are giving you the information for evolution mm. also yes. it's a path and it boom and it's mother earth blood yes in symbols there they are yeah wow yeah. <laughs> we can talk for hours i think we've talked for an hour almost uh yeah. <laughs> yeah, crystals crystals are like Fantastic. like sacred geometry yeah that's that's obviously the molecules it. are that they Those, you know, that, they are the just, yeah they are they that's are exactly exactly perfectly aligned that's the path for healing yeah yes. so quantum physics actually is what is going to reveal exactly our history where we come from mm. uh everything everything so the transforming or the ascension that we're talking about is finding out being aware what's actually our real history, history. our real uh potential in our dna yes and that's mm -hmm. where all like the connections come from what you said with different dimensions if we can yeah. all connect if yeah when not if 
when we can all connect uh, to the different dimensions and the source, we would understand ourselves a lot better, but also others. And I think yeah. that's how we can heal each other. And that's how we can heal the earth. Um, and I think again, uh, and I said it's on, on, on different episodes of the podcast as well. It's when they say that the, the star seed children are here. They are a lot more lighter and they are more open and hopefully they give another boost to healing yeah. and everything. Yeah, it's remember their souls, their souls incarnating to do the work from the inside because from yes. the outside it's very difficult to do the work yes. for uh, transforming the human race, hmm. the, the species, right? Um, right now there is a big fight between who wants the control of, of the earth Mm -hmm. to develop the different races um so here we we're in a big big war of a yeah. sp spirituality but if the, if the human being is aware of their i mean our history how mm -hmm. our potentiality is diamond is in the dimensions is so powerful because we have source potential inside us that's yes. our spirituality so when when we work together that's our main power right. and you know in in life here in this history we are all the time taught to be separated taught to be one against the other one because of polit politics mm -hmm. history sports whatever everything if you can see it everything is not to be yourself. So you have to be always younger. You have to be uh, like the sports mm -hmm. famous people. You have to, mm -hmm. they're always showing you that your life is not important, that your mm -hmm. life is not worthy, that your mm -hmm. life, you're not enough, that you're no one, that you're limited, that you're separated. Yes. Um, but it's not the, that way. It's not the so, way. Yeah. yeah, so for us healers, is to first become together all of us yes not uh, i always say that if we bring down information please share it yes share everything that you know share uh all your wisdom because the more wisdom you share the more you are going to Receive. bring down yeah. the more you're going to have yeah so um abundance prosperity is infinite hmm. So the more you give what you have, the more you bring down. And this is the law of source, uh, which is love equals, love is you. Yeah. <laughs> love equals uh, I have because I give. It's not I give because I have. No, no, it's the other way around. Right. Yeah. I have because I give. Yes, that's yes. beautiful. Yeah. So yeah. the more I give, the more I, I say, the more I share, the more I give. So this is actually the revelation for humanity. Mm -hmm. Thinking my sacred dream for a better world. And the better world is all of us being illuminated, all of us being the highest expression of ourselves mm. so if i help you if i give you i'm giving myself too but we are actually uh, raising the frequency of, of the humanity and if we raise ourselves we're raising the planet the planet yeah. but the, the point of view is um raising the planet's frequency so we can ev evolve in a better life so actually, it's not, I heal to, to, for, for me, just for me. I don't heal for me because I want to be famous or I want to be rich or I want to, you know. Once you heal, you understand that the healing is for everybody. So if you heal one, you are healing the whole planet. Yes. Because it's, we're little cells. We're little cells. So transformation, evolution is thinking that my dream 
is for everybody. So mm -hmm. my dream is just not for me anymore. That's where you, when you understand that what, when you want to give for everybody and share for everybody, your level of consciousness is superior, is away from the control system. Yes. You passed, you superated this, I am divided. Mm. And that's the frontier. When yes. you think that you're alone, that you're divided, that life sucks, that um, everything is impossible, that I'm no one. That's when you are under the control system. That's when you are controlled. controlled. Yes. So we have to go through. Those are patterns. Yeah. Are programming. That's not true. That's not real. No. So once we take away all of this, you're free. You're free. And you're that's free. what we want. Yeah, and when you're free, you are connected to all the rest, to all the different beings, consciousness. You once you control yourself, you're free. Yeah. So one of the best things is: Are you addicted to your cellular? You know, to your mobile phone? Are you addicted to the? Once you're addicted to something, you're under control. Yes. Yeah. So we need to let go of all of it. Yeah. everything yeah and just be yourselves yeah. and stick yeah and you know search for your right uh support circle with the right people yeah. that do value uh you and we value value each other and uh we don't want nothing to do with the negativity and, we, and control i think the first step is asking for help yeah. people don't ask for help are really afraid to ask for help um when we see people that are really keen to do that we in a way we have to just give a free session yes yeah <laughs> yes, no, i have lots of friends that don't believe in, in healing and i say why don't you just come and see me you know let me check you i mean this is for free this is because you are special yes because because it's true mm -hmm. you, you are special we are all special because yeah. this is why we have the opportunity to uh, express our aspect into into a physical matter way of being you yes. know so once they feel that things move mm. that's the the path yes. that's the path bringing this opportunity to people to empower themselves that we can we are magicians mm. we can transform our life when we decide that nobody no one nothing can control us yes. yes thank you so much maria elena for all your time and explanation it's a, it's a very in-depth world that you're in which i'm loving and if people have any questions or if you want to contact maria elena uh, the contact details will be in the description with her website and link to her website and she has a lot of uh, different types of healing for you and she's always there to answer any questions that may you have. May you have. So um, we do understand that you might have a lot because uh, there's a lot more to this. And I'm looking forward to talk to you in another episode as well, where we can maybe touch on one aspect and go much more in depth because there is a lot more layers uh, to this, what you know. And yeah, thank you so much for your time, Maria Elena. And thank you for everybody for listening. Oh, thank you. And yeah, obviously, like and subscribe this episode. And I'll see the title of the podcast as well. Feel free to share it anywhere on social media and with your friends, because we want to spread the love. We want to spread the healing. And that's what we can do for you. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.